And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of The Flash, Season 6, Episode 4. So, this episode was more about pretty much introducing us to the main villain or the villain of the, of the, of the season pretty much becoming the villain. And we all know how Barry is supposedly dealing with him getting ready to vanish and... Let me think just a little bit, excuse me. And pretty much, you know, preparing the team to deal with, you know, crisis. Not only of the crisis coming up, but also dealing with the fact that, hey, he's leaving. They have to be ready. You know, they have to be ready to protect the city. They have to be ready to defend the city and all that. So, you know, we got to see him pretty much try to talk Cisco into it. But we all know from watching Cisco throughout the years, he's a great character. You know, he doesn't let things like this just sit sit down, you know. Sometimes he comes up with ideas to pretty much try to figure out a way to save the team. Especially if it, if it means helping them. Or, you know, going through their back or whatever it is. Just to protect them. So we got to see him pretty much try to, try to f figure out a way to protect Barry without him knowing it. It kind of backfired a little bit. And Barry found out. They had a fight. Typical stuff. We have Iris pretty much doing her own thing again, which is great. But her helping out Diggle, I'm not Dig, um, plastic, uh, plastic Man or Elongated Man, you know, deal with the fact that his mom's disappeared and now he has to go find her again. So we got to see that. That was pretty interesting. And then, of course, Killer Frost, or Frost, as let's call it, pretty much just continued to try to build a life for herself. Um, and obviously we got to see Barry pretty much mess up again in a way where, you know, he, he, he's worried about protecting the world and all that without himself in it. And he's just finally embraced that he's going to disappear. I mean, from all the other seasons where he sees himself vanishing in this crisis, he had like 20 something years to worry about it. But now it comes smacking him in the face. It's like, oh, I might as well just die. It's like he's not feeling like himself anymore. It's like really weird, you know. I felt like that was very strange. How, you know, a couple of, couple of seasons ago, he thought Iris was gonna die after the news article changed and said she was dead, and he was so determined to fix that. But yet now he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna disappear because God said so. Yep, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna embrace it. What the hell, you know? What the hell's gonna happen? I'm just gonna disappear. Nobody's gonna, I'm gonna. I'm just going to leave these guys to handle everything, you know? He he doesn't, you know, feel like he's himself again, you know? I got to fix this this time or this is not. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to prepare Cisco, definitely prepare, you know, uh, Iris, Frost, you know, get ready. I'm going to disappear. You guys be fine without me. Hey, we had a good ride. I, I feel like th th this is the season right now. This is very very strange obviously we all know it's going up to the crisis and he doesn't know what the whole story is about him supposedly disappearing because newsflash she's probably going to disappear but we all know that oliver is taking his place in some way shape or form you know and we don't even know supergirl's role in this so maybe supergirl disappeared too but we don't know you know but barry right now he just focused on himself he he just he feels like he he's given up and that's why it's giving him poor judgment you know he helped the bad guy pretty much. Oh yeah, I have, we found a cure for cancer. Use this, maybe you can fix the world. And nope, and he became the uh, b villain blood bloodlust or something. I forgot the villain's name. He has the power to take people's energy or whatever it is and turn them into like mindless zombies that he can use on his own. So that was interesting. Overall, I thought this episode was just meh. It was just okay, but um. I don't know. I I just feel right now until the crossover happens, Flash to me right now is starting to like. He's not that to me. He's not that important as, as the other shows are. I mean, obviously, Black Lightning. We have no idea how he how, what shape before him. He's gonna be a part of this. Right now, the big story of the crossover is gonna be Oliver. So that's working very well. My review's coming up for that pretty pretty soon. But I think for the Flash, it, it, they could be a bigger picture for it. But right now, I think the Flash stuff is just starting to get to a point where it's like, come on, be the Flash. Figure out a way to save yourself and the universe at the same time. And don't worry about it. But I feel like he's just giving up and it's, it's not right. 
excuse me about that. Anyway, I thought it was an okay episode, but um, just, you know, let's see what happens moving forward. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Stay tuned for more and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, tap the bell. Thank you very much and have a good day.